toughest opposing quarterback to face? Ghost or no ghost, <laughs> I have to go with the greatest living American. Yes. And that's Tom Brady. You know, I said what I said, and I do believe it, and it's true. But when this guy has an opportunity to set up and throw the ball to his receiver, there's nobody better at pinpointing guys out and making plays for his team. I mean, he's a, he's a field general. He's a winner. He's a competitor. And Tom Brady, you know, he's given us some hard time. Well, here's the question. Is Ryan Clark right about Brady being the toughest quarterback to defend, Stephen A.? I want Ryan Clark's internship revoked immediately. We need to talk to ESPN. Enough for him. He's had a nice mm-hmm. week. Goodbye, Ryan Clark. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm disgusted with him right now. I'm only kidding. I, I'm only kidding. I'm just playing with him. But, I mean, listen. Aaron Rodgers beat the, the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl. Not Tom Brady. Obviously, they would never play in the Super Bowl because they're in the same conference. I get that. But the point that I'm trying to make is this. It's not necessarily that Tom Brady's the toughest. It's that Bill Belichick and the system that he runs that Tom Brady quarterbacks is the toughest, okay? Aaron he, Ryan Clark is sitting there talking like Aaron Rodgers can do stuff that Aaron Rodgers, I mean, that, that Tom Brady can do stuff that Aaron Rodgers can't do. I don't understand that. I don't get that. Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. This is a bad boy. I don't want to hear this stuff. Mm-hmm. All of this stuff about everybody else. Tom Brady, I know he's great. I play around and stuff like that, but I know he's great. Please don't get me wrong. But it has a lot to do. And, and I mean, Bill Belichick's got something to do with it. Mike McCarthy, as good and as quality of a coach as he is, has never been confused with being Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick is head and shoulders above what? most coaches in this league. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. No. Talk to... Talk to NFL aficionados, not me. Well, I listen to them. You're hard-headed. I have no problem with that. I have no problem conceding what I don't know. I have no problem conceding the fact that I learn from the people who actually know, that I watch and I study and I do my homework, and I listen to the counsel that they provide me. And they tell me. They, and I won't mention I won't mention their names because I don't know that I didn't know I was going to be talking about this today, and I don't want to put them out there like that without their permission. But the NFL aficionados that I speak to, and there are many, have all told me that Belichick, McCarthy, as much as they respect McCarthy, he's not that complicated. Bill Belichick is very complicated. He's more accomplished, obviously, and I'm going to sit there and say that that helps Tom Brady. Time out. What is Bill Belichick's forte in pro football? Defense. Do you think Bill Belichick has ever called a single play? Maybe he's called one or two plays just because he got in his headset, said run the ball or throw the ball. I I doubt he's ever called a single play in a single game, Stephen A. He leaves that to the offensive coordinator, to Josh McDaniels, a lot of times to Tom Brady. Mike McCarthy is one of the best play callers in pro football. At times, I think he's the best play caller in pro football. And, and don't, tell me, don't. don't tell me he doesn't <clears throat> help make Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers. Aaron is really, really good. He is a bad man. But a badder man oh, is Tom Brady. He is a badder boy, Tom Brady. You're so I'm blasphemous. sorry. You're I'm so not blasphemous. So blasphemous. <laughs> and yet, you really are. if we're being completely objective here about our friend Ryan Clark, I do think that yesterday, Ryan backed into that call that this is the toughest quarterback to defend because I think Ryan needed to make make it good with Tom Brady, a little make-up call because he'd been pretty hard on Brady, saying he sees ghosts in the pocket. And I think Ryan got a little cold feet about what's going to happen on November 3rd in Foxborough. Guess what? The Steelers have to go to Tom Brady's house. And so I think Ryan had one eye on November 3rd. Because <laughs> one, once upon a time, two years ago, yeah. Ryan Clark, I thought, played his best game of pro football against Tom Brady in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh won the game, and Tom Brady was held to 198 yards. Way to go, Ryan. So, again, thank you for being sort of objective. but I think He's not that, objective. We all know Brady. Internship revoked. Kidding. All right. Internship revoked. It's (laughs) over anyway. It's over. Uh, It's our final take, ladies.